Here's how you can use science to make a groovy lava lamp. I have here a plastic bottle. At the bottom, there is a layer of water. Uh, it looks red, but that's just because I've added some food coloring to it. And then a big layer of oil. Most oil should do. I've used vegetable oil here. And then the final thing you need, this is half of what is called an Alka-Seltzer. It's uh, just some very weak medicine. It's used for digestion. And this is the only thing that might be a bit tricky for you to get. You'd have to ask someone to get you, uh, to get you some from a pharmacy. And what I'm going to do is drop this inside and I'll see what happens as it touches the oil and then as it touches the water. So you can see bubbles are starting to form. And as the reaction really gets going, you can start to see these larger and larger red bubbles. And the bubbles are coming up from the water, being carried up to the surface of the oil and they're sinking back down again. That's pretty neat. They'll reach a point where there is a maximum and then the reaction will die down. This doesn't go on forever. You can do this quite a few times without having to change the water. But you'll have to wait in between to allow the separation to occur again. But now we should ask, why is this happening? Well, that fizzing gave us a clue. That fizzing meant that there was a chemical reaction in which gas was being produced. Why are there red particles rising up? Well, we know that the water has been dyed red. And what's actually happening is as the uh, gas is released, because it's significantly less dense than the liquid it's in, it rises up to the surface. And if I've put the cap on, you should be able to, there'll be a slight, a slight hiss as the gas escapes. And what's happening is as the gas is escaping and rising up, it carries uh, some of the water with it. Then the gas is released at the surface and the water, which is denser than the oil, sinks back down. Quite curious indeed.